<laughs> come, come. Come into my den. <laughs> This is the original. So when I start, I first make pencil sketches. Now you will notice that these are not watercolors. These are rare color pencils. And once I'm satisfied with this, then I snail mail it to India. And after that I get a version of this. Now this version, of course, as you can see on the computer, there's a lot of changes. Once this is accepted, I get the final print. From the final print, I blow it up to this size. Now this painting is four feet by four feet. The colors are all very bright. That is what ancient mythology was. There were pigments from bright fruits and vegetables. Now these bright colors are all holy colors and as you can see these circles one two three and the fourth one they are actually the universe with the four elements this is known as Hanuman and Hanuman series and this is the first one called tribal one this painting is tribal one as you know about Hanuman, Hanuman was a man who loved his gods. So he's got his eyes looking towards, inwards. He has his Ram, he has his Sita all the time inside him. And he's going to live for his gods. He's not going to live for himself. In fact, he is the first immigration lawyer. Yes, because he took countries to people. And he was the first, as you have invented those words, digital citizen, it rightly applies to this man. He was the first digital citizen. He took countries to people. There was no difference. And he kept himself as a free man, free homo sapien. Now you can see all a lot of symbols in this. Now he was the avatar of Shiva. Now this is Shiva. As you can see, the fountainhead of God. And from here comes the Himalayas, the waters, the nourishment and the energies. So as you can see, there's four different circles. There's a lot of meaning in this. Like I could go on and on forever. <laughs> I know you're smiling. Is, because you are the inventor of the digital citizen. Is it a part of the series? <laughs> this is a part of series. I've got totally ten. Unfortunately, it takes a very long time because this type of art is discipline. And discipline is not wishy-washy. I can't just take colors and splash them all over the place. You know? So this is the first one. I'll show you the other one. The series. The second of the series. Again, Hanuman. Again, here we have the Shiva, which he's the avatar of Shiva. Shiva was like the godhead. The first god, you would say. Because there are thousands of gods. Yes. in Hindu mythology and uh, ultimately there's one I can, can look, at, look at the eyes look at the eyes and you can see in the eyes the tender mango leaves so this is very earthy there's a lot of earthiness about this though you see the four elements here and as usual the ultimate red dot on the forehead. That's beautiful. Uh, this will be now at the exhibition at 5.30. I have to still sign. Once I sign it, it is out of this place. This uh, this room is as a studio. This is a washing machine here. So this is a <laughs> this is the laundry room you would call it. And um, all my paraphernalia. That's my guru, Joe Lane Decker. And you know, as as you know, Joe was my my first and last hero. The Arrow Man, the Arrow Shirt Man. 
yeah. And he was the guru, believe it or not, of Norman Rockwell. 25 years before Norman Rockwell, you have him doing work which Norman Rockwell loved. And the moment you see Saturday Evening Post, you think Norman Rockwell. Hello, it is Joe, 25 years before Norman Rockwell. Really? So this is, this is what inspires me. And of course, contemporary artists like this wonderful Jewish Hubert. He is so good. He's a realist. I hate the word realist because he could do anything. And he's done a lot of wonderful stuff. A lot of wonderful stuff. Beautiful. And these are, these are watercolors. These are watercolors. Beautiful. He is great. And these are the, the few people that I really admire. Of course, there is now, we have a gamut of uh, contemporary artists. We have a whole list of 100 contemporary artists. And the, what the beautiful thing about this novel, again coming to Digital Citizen, which you invented in 1990, this is Digital Citizen. Can you believe this? Because of being global, surprise, surprise, there's a Bombay boy here. Not one, but many. I'll show you this particular artist who was, who's now international. He is on page 248. Yeah, here he is. And thanks to the United Kingdom. Oh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, Subodh Gupta, who is now international. He had his exhibition in Paris, and all this stuff. It's very, very, very original, very Indian, and um, he's accepted. That's one, and there's another one. Thanks to the British that he's on page 292 oh, I've passed that 292, here he is Anish Kapoor his work is tremendous his work is tremendous I admired this man ever since I went to school his, his, you, you will see this job of his look at that which is in Chicago this huge sculpture of stainless steel. <laughs> so, so what I'm getting at is our whole uh, approach to the future is now because of globalization. It's a small little mini capsule rather than a whole universe. Those are my paints and I, I like using acrylics. They dry very fast. And uh, I'm very comfortable with that. Though I've used oils in the past. So Norman, thanks a lot. I'll see you now at the, uh, at the exhibition. It starts at 5.30. I'm leaving from here at 4.15. Or a little earlier. That's actually number the one you are looking at now is number two, the second one of the series. And you can see the four circles. Uh, the four circles, which is of course the four elements. That's fire, air, water, earth, all the four elements. And you can recognize Hanuman by his mouth. Then he's pre homo sapien. And his eyes are always for the gods. Who he has in his eyes, in his heart, in his mind. And the symbol on top that you see is the old symbol of his avatar, Shiva. Now Shiva is the head godhead. He's the, the originator. The yes. So and it's 
in, 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 my, in our terms, in English, you talk about the male and the female. So this is the male, and this is the female, and this is the avatar of the first god. Because there are lots of gods, and they're all in him, the designs. He has all the gods in him, you know? And uh, he never got, he, he's the first celibate god who never got married. So this is very interesting. And he's also the first superman, because he flies. <laughs> And this one here, this painting here. And the second thing, actually, this is the first of the series. And this is the first of the series. Again, here you see that uh, we find the confluence and the merging of the heavens and the earth. So you can see the heavens up coming down and the earth going on top. Again, here you have a very symbolic interpretation of Shiva. Shiva had the uh, the source from his head, all the water would go all over the world. All the rivers, the fountains, the seas. So that is it. It's all the greenery, so that all green on top. And again, you can see very clearly that he is Hanuman with the mouth. Again, the eyes are meeting. Both the eyes are meeting. So all the gods keep coming to him. And he keeps them inside in his heart. I have totally uh, 10 of these series. For this particular exhibition, I've got two, which is Hanuman Series 1, called Trident 1, and Hanuman Series number 2, which is Trident 2. And I'm very happy to say that on the opening day, in the first minute, the painting has gone to a collector, an art collector who only keeps Dali's and Kandinsky's. He's got the originals. When did he find out about them? Uh, he was my client once upon a time. And I went with, I went, made a presentation yesterday. And he said, I'm so proud of this. And when I called him today for the opening, he said, I'm taking that one. I said, which one? He says, uh, Tribal 2. That's so beautiful. This is the god head on top. Top is the god head. He is the avatar. Avatar Beautiful, uh, beautiful painting. Yes, I'm, I'm very proud he did in my house, and uh, I wish him a big success. I will, in fact, thank Nadia for allowing me to do this in her house, which is a fantastic thing. It is a bit. Quiet, a lot of space. And the most wonderful place I could think of to do my painting. It's wonderful. And this is a very It's a very sacred house. Mm. Mm.